Hello, welcome. I hope you like clowns because today we will be making a one of a kind Pennywise exhibit you see here. First things first, we need something to contain our diorama and set the dimension limits. I bought this display case on Amazon and I'll link it below, but feel free to use any container you wish. To construct the clown, I'll be using florist wire, tin foil, and Sculpey clay. And I've chosen to try and recreate the scene from It where Pennywise is unfurling his body from the refrigerator in the house on Neibolt Street. I'll start by sketching out the shape of the clown's body so that I can start constructing an armature of wire and foil. Next, I'm going to cover the armature in a thin sheeting of Sculpey clay. Don't get discouraged if your clown looks like a misshapen mess. We just need a clean looking head, hands, and shoe. The rest is going to be covered up. Now we'll cure this in the oven. Before we finish the clown, let's start preparing his environment for the display case. Here I'm picking out the wallpaper and giving it a wash of blue color for the backdrop. To make the display case look neater from the outside, I'm going to line the backdrop with plain black cardstock. Now I'm adding a corrugated cardboard layer, so that when I rip our wallpaper layer, this texture will be exposed. Here I'm using a pencil to rip chunks of the blue paper open so that you can see the underlayer. Now I'm going to use some cardstock for the floor as well. Back to our clown, I'm taking some pieces of scrap fabric here and I'm gluing them directly to our clay figure in shapes that resemble his outfit. Before I put all his clothes on though, I'm going to take some watered down acrylic paint and start adding color to his face. Now that I have the base colors down, I'm going to cover them up in more fabric. I'm using paper muffin liners to add the frilly ruff around his neck and sleeves. Using actual lace here would be an even nicer touch though. I'm taking some red yarn here to add some smaller outfit details around the cuffs. For the hair, I'm using the same yarn, but I'm brushing it out and teasing it before attaching it to his head. For the final details, I'm applying our clown's face paint, mouth details, and off camera I painted his shoe. I originally wanted to sculpt the refrigerator our clown was emerging from, but I couldn't hack it, and decided to use some foam board instead. Rather than constructing an entire fridge, 
I just have the two pieces of foam board on the sides to give the illusion of the clown coming out of somewhere. I'm painting the fridge background space black and I'm covering our foam board in some tissue paper to smooth out the rough edges. I'll be coating this in watered down acrylic color to give the sides of the fridge a dirtier, older look. Since the clown doesn't take up much space in the display, I've decided to add more elements like Georgie's paper boat, as well as a red balloon. I'm just using part of an old brown bag here, and I'm coating the folded boat with a layer of Mod Podge. For the red balloon, I'm rolling up some Sculpey clay and I'm covering it with actual balloon material, but I'm sure fabric would work just as well here. Now it's just a matter of smothering everything in hot glue and hoping it stays in place. For the piece de la resistance, I am adding some hot glue drool, and with that we are finished. Thank you for joining me this episode, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye!